I've been to a few Chinese restaurants in my life and, well, I've had the best and the worst. But the Olive Garden is by far the best. But it's also by far the strangest. When I got there, I saw the booth there. And they weren't near the door, so I wanted to sit in the booth because it was cold outside and I didn't want to be cold. I was surprised when I sat down in my booth to see a green present there. I opened the green present. To my surprise, it wasn't a present. There was utensils. And to my further surprise, I wondered where the chopsticks went. The sal was wonderful. When I first looked at it, it made me really want to eat it. And then I looked at it again, and it made me want to eat it even more. You could easily fill up five large adults with this salad, or you could easily fit five large adults in this salad. The breadsticks were dehydrating. I think it was because of all the golden brown in them. So I was very thirsty, so I wanted some drink. So I had none, so I wanted one. I waited an hour or more for my drink to be refilled. And then, as if by magic, it was refilled. Before my meal arrived, I was afraid that it wasn't going to taste good. And then my meal arrived, and it smelled, and it tasted rather colorful and good. <laughs> Except for the large clump of someone's ugly, disgusting hair. I think it was the cook. I saw her, she was gross, and had split ends too. And I think everyone else in my party would think their meals were good too. The atmosphere of the restaurant was nice. I highly respected the 18th century Aztecian plates. And I would know quality antiques because I've been working at Salvation Army for many years. The lighting was okay in the restaurant, and then the lighting was not okay. The lighting got kind of romantic for a Chinese style restaurant. If I had kids, I would not bring them here. I would not want to see my kids in such a romantic way. Or have anyone else see my kids as being sexy in a romantic style Chinese way. Of course, Chinese food would not be complete without fortune cookies. But we didn't get fortune cookies, we got mints, straight from the Andes Mountains. We each got one. I wish I could eat another, but I wasn't able to eat another. After leaving the restaurant, I felt full in my tummy and in my soul. And I could now fulfill my lifelong dream of becoming a champion alpine skier. I will be sad to see the Olive Garden go, but I am moving on to bigger and better things. Maybe tomorrow night, I will visit the Outback Steakhouse. I've been told